Hi, I'm Corus Little, Digital Content Editor for Hotel Business. I was recently at the Hunter Hotel Conference in Atlanta and attended sessions where industry leaders talked about the lodging landscape, guest experience, and Airbnb. Afterward, I asked hotel executives to share their insight. Here's what they had to say. I think uh, we, we always hear about uh, the nice economic run that we've had, and uh, we're just looking over the shoulders and when that's going to stop, but uh, I don't think that's an 18. Uh, we see, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, development growth in major marketplaces, uh, particularly in the upper upscale market, and uh, that's really encouraging. Uh, of course, that can all come to a stop but, uh, uh, at any given time, but uh, right now it seems real robust and we're real excited about 2018. For the most part, I agree with the sentiment that was shared today. I think the tax cut has put some extra fuel on the cycle for sure. Supply and demand continue to be in balance for the most part, and the aspiration to travel is high. So I continue to be bullish as well for all the reasons we heard today around unemployment. Uh, you know, the Fed chairman raising rates today is always uh, um, interesting, but you know, at some point that had to happen, and I think we'll digest that. We'll continue on. The landscape for us, we're, we're, we're cautious. Uh, we believe we're at some point the cycle is going to end, uh, but right now it's very robust. I mean, we're just running as long as we can run it. Um, I think it will slow down, but we haven't seen any signs of that, so we still keep pushing forward ahead 100%. Instead of just people saying, hey, we might be near the end of the cycle uh, and maybe had a few months to a year to go, there were projections that the next two to three years were going to be strong for the lodging cycle based on current economic data. And I thought that was uh, surprising and, of course, reassuring since that's the business we're all in. Are there too many hotel brands? Executives had varying answers. Let's take a look. Um, well, the people that will decide whether brands are successful are right out here in the audience. If we create brands that are relevant to guests and, and remunerative to owners that have good ROIs, they will grow and be successful. If they don't, we'll learn that lesson ourselves and won't go anywhere. So by the discipline of the process, I just don't think the industry will have too many successful brands. The question is, can the brand company continue to maintain the focus on these various brands and really make sure that they're not just driving owner return, but also keeping the brands relevant for guests? I wouldn't say that there are too many brands. There are certainly a lot of brands. The challenge that I'm seeing is how to create a distinction between all these brands. What makes a hotel stay memorable? Our hotel executives weighed in on this question. I have to tell you, you can have a great property, you can have the right financing behind it, a great location, uh, but if you don't have the right people behind it, it won't succeed. You know, around guest experience, I think as, as we discussed today, as came up today, it's about experiences and that people are valuing that. They're valuing that more than ever and it shows up in the aspiration to travel and it also shows up in how we take care of the guests at the hotel. It's more about how we take care of that customer on a one-to-one -one, uh, through communications, through relationships and when they're at the property as well. Airbnb, is it a threat to the hotel business? Well, it depends on whom you ask. On the Airbnb issue, for Choice Hotels International specifically, it really is not a direct competitor. They play in the major urban markets and they are really looking for a different type of traveler than buys traditional lodging. Until hotels have taken a look at what type of offer a guest is looking for in terms of room type and uh, the actual physical space of the, of the hotel, I think that's something they really need to keep their eyes on or they're going to find themselves even further behind in product, not just in people's lifestyle tastes.